Hey guys, Debs here bringing you a video on my Lego Rubik's Cube. Now, this is a somewhat functional creation. <laughs> it's not fully functional, it is somewhat functional because it can't turn one way. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to turn it there, but it can't turn that way. It can turn this way, however, which is pretty cool. It's something I wanted to incorporate because I figured out a way to have a half plate offset between each of these squares, uh, you know, barring the corners because that's not half plate offset. But I found a way to do that, and so I was like, oh, I'll make a Rubik's Cube. That, that, that'll work, because, you know, Rubik's Cubes have a little bit of black in between each of the tiles, so I thought it would be a perfect fit, which it was. But I'm like, eh, this is, this is a little lame, just the little spaces in between them. What if I could make it move? Now, obviously, there's no way I was going to give it full functionality, because if you've ever seen a Rubik's Cube slightly broken apart, it's actually fairly complex or at least complex in terms of recreating it out of Legos. So that just wasn't going to happen. But other than that, I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of this creation. It was a really, really quick build. Really the only problem I had was getting these orange pieces, which, you know, quick brick link order solved that. And I don't really have much to talk about because there isn't much in terms of techniques, but I will take it apart. <laughs> Hopefully without completely destroying or ripping off the tiles. Not physically destroying them. Right. This one taken off. It's the other one taken off. Okay, so here's the middle part, which is what the rotating uh, plates attach to, which is how it spins, just rotating plates, nothing complex really. And I still had to maintain a half plate offset between the thirds of the cube. So to do that, I used, um, I don't even know what you would call these pieces. They're kind of like complete clips that allow you to put a plate over it, so I just used those to create another half plate offset. It was kind of a pain getting this all to work out, because I had to center the plates, and these things kind of have an odd height, I guess, to make them... Oh, it's hard to explain, because it needed to... the spinner needed to be at the same height as this, and it was really hard to translate that height with these pieces right here. But I managed to do it, and... To get the consistent half plate around here, I did. I alternated from like headlight bricks connecting into um, a one by two brick with studs on three sides, and then here I used Technic bricks to complete that offset. So it's just rotating from headlight bricks to Technic bricks, and that was really all it was. Now this part is a little bit more interesting. Um, I'm gonna try to. Oops, I didn't hit the camera. Mm. Oh well. Here you can see four Travis bricks, which are bricks with studs on all sides except the bottom. And then connected into those are just normal one by one bricks. And then, depending on what side it is, it's either connected into Technic bricks or headlight bricks. And then there's other headlight bricks on those Technic bricks so that I can attach it, attach a tile to both sides, which I'll show you here. So the Technic bricks hold in the top tile, but I still need something in to hold the side tile, so that's what the headlight bricks are for. And then here, you can barely see some uh, brackets, the 1x4 brackets. And overall, this was a pretty simple build. Um, I had a contest entry that was a, um, a Rubik's Cube with glasses, and that's kind of how I got this initial design here. But that one didn't rotate, and I never fully finished that one just because I didn't have the pieces. So I just photographed it from the completed side, so it looked like I completely finished it. Which is kind of cheap, but what are you going to do? So that's really all I have to show you for this creation. It's a, it's a little it's a little bland, I guess, in terms of techniques. I will maybe upload a video on how to get this consistent half plate offset, which provides a really unique texture. I think it looks pretty cool. So I think I'll upload a video uh, with greater detail on how to do that. But for now. I think this is a pretty in-depth summary of this Rubik's Cube I got here. Gotta get the sides right there. Okay. Right, and there you have it, a Lego Rubik's Cube. Thank you all for watching.